it's time for Mass with Mr. Thomas. Ho, ho, ho! Chapter 11, lesson number 3, the intersection of two lines. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look and think if we've got two lines in 3D space that are crossing, we can find the point of intersection. We can get that point. How do we do that? How do we find the point of intersection? Well, the point of intersection of two lines in 3D space can be found when the equations of both lines are expressed in our good old friend, parametric form. Just remember, there are three forms that you need to be familiar with. You need to be familiar with a vector form, which looks something like that. You need to be familiar with symmetric form, which is when you express the equation of the line like this. And you need to be familiar with parametric form when you're expressing the line in terms of x equals y equals z equals. And on the right hand side, you would have everything in terms of the parameter t. Those are the three forms that you need to be familiar with. And in this case, we're going to be using a parametric form. So let's look at an example. So let L1 and L2 be the lines L1, which has x equals 8 take away 2t, y equals negative 4 add 2t, and z equals 3 plus t. What form would line 1 be written in? Parametric! Brilliant, so line 1 is written in parametric form. Line 2 is written as x over negative 2 equals y add 2 over negative 1 and z take away 9 over 2. What form is that in? Symmetric. Perfect, that's written in symmetric form. And we have to show that line 1 and line 2 intersect and we have to find that point of intersection. Just remember, as I said at the start, it's easy to find the point of intersection when both the lines are expressed in parametric form. So line 1, we've already got parametric form. What we need to do then is we need to express line 2 in parametric form as well. So this is what we have for line 2. x over negative 2 equals y add 2 over negative 1 equals z take away 9 over 2 equals s. So remember, parametric form is when we would write it as x equals y equals and z equals. So we want to change this so we have x equals. You can see that up here for line 1, well, we have the parameter t, which is why down here I'm bringing in a different letter. So t is already the parameter for line 1, so we need a different parameter for line 2. So we're going to be using a different letter, which is why we use s. So in order to get x equals something in terms of s, we'd well, multiply both sides by negative 2. So you'd have x equals negative 2s. We've got y add 2 over negative 1, again equals s, so to get y equals, multiply both sides by negative 1, so y add 2 equals negative s, and then subtract 2. So we'd have y equals negative s, take away 2. And for z, we've got z take away 9 over 2 equals s, again multiply both sides by 2, and then add 9 to both sides. So we now have x equals, y equals, and z equals, and you can see the equations are written in terms of the parameter s. So, we have line 1 in parametric form and line 2 in parametric form. What do we do now? Well, after that, because we've got the equations of the line in parametric form, we can equate the coordinates. So we know if x equals 8 take away 2t, and we also know that x equals negative 2s. Well, we can say then that the x coordinates, the 8 take away 2s and the negative 8 take away 2t, and the negative 2s must be equal. So we can say then that 8 take away 2t equals the negative 2s. If we rearrange that, so we can get the s's and the t's to one side and the numbers on the other. So adding 2t to both sides will give us a positive 2 over here. We'll give, have, have the negative 2s over here and we'd have 8. So we'd have the 2t take away 2s equals 8. Equating the y coordinates, well, for the y coordinates, we've got negative 4 add 2t, and we've got negative s take away 2. We know they must be equal. So our negative 4 add 2t equals the negative s take away 2. Once again, we want s and t on one side, we want numbers on the other. So for that one, what can we do? Well, if you just add s to both sides, we'd have a 2t plus s over here, and add 4 to both sides as well. So we'd have 2t plus s equals, well, add on the 4, we give us negative 2 add 4, which will give us 2 on the right-hand side. 
Equating the y coordinates, do the exact same. We can see that z equals 3 add t, and we can also see that z equals 2s plus 9. So, equate them. So, our 3 add t equals the 2s plus 9. Again, we want s on one side and t as well, and we want numbers on the other. So, subtracting 2s from both sides, we can see over here we'd have t take away 2s. If we get rid of this 3, so subtract 3 from both sides, well, we'd have t take away 2s would equal 6. So, we have rearranged it, so we've got t and s on one side, and we've got numbers on the other for each of the equations. If we take equation 1 and equation 2 and we solve them, well, we can solve them just using simultaneous equations, which we have been doing for years. So, subtract the 2s and the 2s. Subtract negative 2s, take away s will give us negative 3s, and 8 take away 2 will give us 6. So, we know that negative 3s will equal 6, which means then s will equal negative 2. Once we know s is negative 2, we can sub that back into one of the equations to solve for t. We will end up with t equals 2 and s equals negative 2. Sub them into the other equation just to check that works. I've not put in all the steps for simultaneous equations because it's something you have been doing for years, and I'm sure you will be absolutely fine with that. But if you're not, just give me a shout. What we need to do then is we've just solved for t and s in equation 1 and equation 2. But what we need to do is we need to check these values in this third equation. We need to check that that works out. So with t being 2 and s is negative 2, then t take away 2s will become 2 take away, and then it's 2 times s, so it'll be 2 times negative 2. If you work that out, well that becomes 2 take away negative 4, which becomes 2 add 4, which is 6. What we are expecting to get out, though, for equation 3 when we work that out, well, t take away 2s is 6. That's what we just found. We just found it was equal to 6. So it means, then, that the values of s and the values of t also satisfy equation 3. And because of this, it means the lines L1 and L2 intersect. However... What would it mean, Joyce, if you had a different value here? Say you subbed in and you got it equal to 19. We're expecting 6, but you get 19. So in other words, the values of T and S didn't satisfy the equation. What would that mean? Brilliant. If it didn't satisfy the equation, then it means the lines would not intersect. After that, well, we know they do intersect. We found that. It satisfies the equation 3. So how do we find the point of intersection? Brilliant. All you've got to do, you know that x equals the 8 take away 2t, you know y equals the negative 4 add 2t, and you know z equals the 3 plus t. We've just found this value of t, you know t is 2, so you can sub that in in place of t in order to find x, y, and z. In other words, the point of intersection. You could also use point s. So you could also use s, so s is negative 2, so you could also sub that in and do x equals negative 2 times 2. You could have y equals negative of negative 2 take away 2, and z equals 2 times negative 2 add 9. Really, pick s or t and sub them into the correct line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub them into the ones with t as a parameter. So x was equal to 8 take away 2t, replace t with 2, so it's 8 take away 2 times 2, which gives us 4. y would equal, it's negative 4 add 2 times 2, which is 0, and z would equal the 3 add t. Well, if t is 2, it's 3 add 2, which is 5. That means then the point of intersection would be 4, 0, 5. And that is the answer to that question. Try some of these questions on your own. You're just wanting to get the point of intersection. Just remember, write the equations of the line in parametric form, first of all. Then equate the coordinates. And after that, solve using simultaneous equations. Check it in the third equation. And if it satisfies, then that means the lines will intersect. And you can easily take the value of T or S and sub them into one of the equations. Have a look at these questions on page 39. Best of luck. Have fun. Woo! Bye.